But back to the question, how many cases have you made for somebody violating a background check? We don't make those cases, okay. Senator. All right. We have priorities. Have we make gun cases. We make 2,000 gun cases a year, how Senator. Many, That's our priority. Many, We're not in a paper chase. How many cases? We're trying to prevent the wrong people buying guns. Well, That's well, why we do background checks. If you think I'm going to do a paper chase, then you think I'm going to misuse my resources. I'm just trying resources. to ask you a question about how the law works today. He's made no cases. You have made no cases because you say it's really not within your bailiwick. How many cases have you had turned over from the U.S. attorney to prosecute at the state level that you know of? We all know the answer to these questions, Senators. They're self-answering. We don't chase paper. We chase armed criminals. Well, I, I guess the point is if we don't want the wrong people to own guns, which we all agree, then the one way to do that is to take the system that's supposed to distinguish between the person who should and shouldn't and enforce it. I own an AR-15. I passed the background check. Isn't it really about who has the gun, sometimes more than the gun itself? And I guess the point I'm trying to make, if there are four million AR-15s in this country owned by people like me, I think the argument would be that it is in common use. And you may not understand why I want to own an AR-15, and I may not understand what movies you want to watch, but we're talking about trying to solve a problem that has as its central core that the people who are committing these crimes should never have any gun or one bullet. That's what we all agree on. And the best way to prevent crazy people, mentally unstable people, from getting a weapon is to identify them somehow before they murder somebody to steal it or they try to buy one.